on today's edition of The Disconnector. It's the start of another academic year. With the CSRS and all those long queues, find out why some students aren't happy. I'm Kenneth Poya, your Disconnector. Welcome to a brand new Skin Actor. What a better way to start the new year than to enroll. But how would you endure the long queues that go with it? That's right, people. In some cases, the university has been called UP, the University of Pita. You know, UPMIN has been infamous of the long queues that happened during registration, during checking of clearances, and listing of schedules, obtaining the registration form, aka Form 5, paying for the cashier, and getting your class cards. With that, my fellows from the BS Computer Science program had thought of a solution. Why not make everything online? And thus, the CSRS was born. The Computerized Student Record System, CSRS for short, is part of UP Mindanao Integrated Information Management System, or the UP MIMS. It aims to integrate all the information databases of different parts of UP Min, including the admin offices and the colleges. It's spearheaded by UPMIN's ITO, the Information Technology Office, and co-developed by BS Computer Science students. The CSRS aims to make the registration process simpler, faster, and more efficient. It makes managing student records more convenient. And surprisingly, it has lessened the queues that hampered UPMIN students for years. But with that benefit in mind, are the students happy about the new system? Let's ask them how they feel about it. This and more when we come back. Welcome back. In such a small campus like UPMIN, it is of no doubt that there will be problems for both students listening for subjects and for teachers who will teach those subjects. A prevalent example here in UPMIN is dissolution of subjects. It can be a burden, especially for those irregular standing students. I interviewed two of them, and here's their saying. And that's not all. There are other problems encountered during registration. It's efficiency of faculty members to handle a particular course, conflicting schedules of different courses. 
additional delays to the clearances, scholarship, SDFAP, or student loan, and even bugs, erroneous inputs, or inconsistencies within the CSRS. Let's admit it, this new system is still on its maturing phase. It needs more time for the students, faculty, and staff to acquaint with it. And what the administration needs now is to allow proper information to be given among them. Students must take their responsibility in planning their registration to be able to be registered as quickly and in the most proper manner as possible. With proper planning and the patience, these cues will not be a burden for all of us, but as an avenue of our thinking of what to do next in this semester to come. It's time for It's Got Tweets, where we interact you through Twitter tweets. I asked you on Twitter, how was your experience during your registration? And a few replied, such as Jerby Basilia. She says that the CSRS didn't work properly, so they had to go to their department chair to customize their accounts. Maybe because of the schedules that they pre-registered didn't appear in the actual process. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to Mervin Aranyo, who replies that her registration should have been okay, but it turned out that their professors, maybe their advisor or those teachers who asked for their prerogatives, came out later than expected. So, keep your tweets coming. Send me a tweet at StellarBoy and follow us at Himati. We live with your feedback, so we want to hear from you. And that's it for the Instagram videos. Don't forget to connect to Mati anytime on the web. I'm Kenneth Poyer. See you next time. Bye.